reflection on music in the 14th century. Uh, when I first started thinking about what I was going to do my project on, I thought I was going to do it on art. So I started looking for paintings from the 14th century online and came across this painting. And it caught my eye because I actually have a modern version of this instrument right here. It's called a dulcimer. And this is what the modern version looks like. It's interesting because, as you can see, a lot of things haven't changed. It's still made of wood. Uh, it still has strings that you play. But when I started doing some research, I discovered that the dulcimer during the 14th century actually would have been plucked, whereas nowadays it's strummed, similar to a guitar. Uh, I started looking to see if I could find any mention that Chaucer had made of the dulcimer, and I could not find one, but I actually found mention of the other instrument in this photo, this right here. Uh, you may be thinking it looks like a guitar. It's actually called a lute. I have a better painting of it right here. Um, it had strings, very similar to the dulcimer, except it would have been held like the modern guitar, uh, would have been strummed, would have had a different sound because the shape of the sound box is different. Um, Chaucer mentions the lute a couple times in some of his uh, different poems, so I started looking for other instruments that he had mentioned, and one that he actually mentions a lot is called the psaltery. Um, this painting is actually from a Belgian book from the year 1470, I'm not sure why it's a cat. But um, as you can see, this has strings. It was played flat. Um, it actually was mentioned in Canterbury Tales. Um, this instrument would have been used for church services, more religious music. Um, it's actually where it gets its name. It's spelled P-S-A-L-T-E-R-Y because of psalms. It used to be played along with psalms that would have been sung during a church service. Um, another instrument that was popular during Chaucer's time and that was mentioned in Canterbury Tales is the flute. Um, as you can see from this painting, it's changed a lot since modern times. Um, obviously, it wasn't made of metal. It used to be made of wood. It was a lot larger than the modern flute. Um, and instead of having keys that you press down on, it had holes, open holes that you would have covered up and blocked the airflow. Um, Chaucer mentions this uh, in Canterbury Tales. He actually says that the prologue plays the flute and sings. So um, from his descriptions we and other research, we know that the flute, like the psaltery, was used um, often in religious services. And part of that reason is because it would have been very expensive to make one of those. Um, you would have needed a skilled craftsman. You can see that it's still it's a pretty small piece of wood. It would have needed to be hollowed out, and you would have needed to know where to put the holes. So wouldn't have been accessible to um, those lower classes. And as we talked about in class, the clergy would have been an upper class. They, um, they would have had the money and the time, more importantly, to learn, as would the nobility. And the nobility are actually the ones who would have introduced music into the secular um, area, would have been used for entertainment, um, what we think of today, you know, parties and gatherings in a pastime. Um, but again, the lower classes, that wouldn't have been accessible during the 14th century. Um, another instrument that I found is actually the trumpet. And as you can see, this looks nothing like what our modern trumpet does. And we're actually looking at this one over here. This one, actually, the other instrument, um, I'm not going to go too in-depth about this one, but this one is called a trombone. You can see that's actually kind of similar to today's. But... Um, this trumpet, uh, you can see the person in this painting is holding it more like what we would think of as a modern clarinet. Um, Chaucer actually didn't mention the trumpet in his writing. He mentioned the trump, T-R-O-M-P-E. And what's interesting about that is that the trump was actually a pretty outdated instrument by the time Chaucer would have been writing. So we think about instruments like the dulcimer that um, have kind of passed out of modern use but we're still used in certain situations. So Chaucer mentions that um, it's not saying that he wasn't with the times or that he wasn't around trumpets. I'm sure he had his reason for using them, but um, it's just interesting to note that that would have been more out of date. Um, the trump that he was referring to would have been made out of horn, a horn from an animal or ivory. So again, those would have been very expensive and accessible only to those upper classes because that would have had to have been imported. Um, we know that they were used also by the nobility, um, and it's actually, you would probably recognize it more from Disney films sort of announcing their arrival, but there actually are instances of that um, in some research where it would have been used as sort of like announcing the court, something happening. Um, the trumpet, more of what is actually pictured in this, did have holes. You can see that they're covering them up. 
that would have had more of a musical use. So this could have been possibly used more in religious services, whereas the tromp probably would have been less so. So those are the instruments that I researched that were used by Chaucer.